Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the seventh episode of Shincho Yusha. And last episode, we kind of finished off our little dragon culture arc thing, and did not, did not have to sacrifice any of our party members, so it worked out for the most part. I mean, we didn't get the super duper legendary Demon King killing sword or anything like that, but we have the power of friendship, and I think we all know which one's stronger in the context of an anime, so let's just move on. Three, two, one, play. There we go. Oh yeah, these guys greeted us at the door, didn't they? Well, we've already done with everything, so... Will we? We haven't heard Saya... That's life of a hero. <laughs> of course, is how she actually feels. Yeah, I'm sure we can find it. <laughs> I'll just fly on over there. Don't mind me. As expected of our hero. Beel Beelzebub. That thing looks kind of terrifying for a bug. Just must be so happy to actually be said to be referred to by his actual name now. Or bugs. Yeah, that's bugs. Oh, that's a lot of bugs. Are we going to get her opening? Well, damn. It's a hundreds of level 30s. That is a big problem. And yeah, since they fly, it's a little bit harder to AoE them. Which is what you'd want to do, obviously. Aerial Assault flies. Be hell, bub. Yeah, one of those numbers did seem bigger than the others. <laughs> Asking the important questions. Well, how much is this going to accomplish? Because it's very hard to hit bugs with arrows. <laughs> oh no, the flies are coming. Uh, that's got to be terrifying to be lifted up by a big bug. Oh no, they dropped them. That's, I mean... Uh, oh damn. Jesus. Uh, that's a little savage there. Uh, yeah, I guess we should probably do something soon. Yeah, he just wants, just wants you. A brilliant strategist over here. Yeah, flies are the worst. I really hate them. Ever since one landed in scrambled eggs I was making, I just, I've never forgiven them since. You wouldn't have to tell me twice. Okay. Yeah. Well, she's kind of cute. Rosalie. <laughs> the eye patch. Is that is is it the time for that?
Yeah, let's not do anything reckless. Carlo. Okay, let's, yeah, let's talk strategy. Uh, somebody is not, somebody lacks patience. Thank you for pointing out the obvious. Yeah, but they haven't. Which we picked up on. War Master. That's a bold claim. <laughs> Good points. Like, why can't he just do it? And that is... I'm not sure I follow. Just kind of walking on this meeting. <laughs> okay, what now, Saya? Definitely true. <laughs> uh, she really bought into that. <laughs> yeah. I didn't say there was, I just said there could be. Uh. Play fly on the wall, if you will. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Ten minutes later? Really? It's surprising. No, you said there was. Like, I'm pretty sure the last one was a guarantee. <laughs> I disagree. I think strategy is a very helpful thing. Really? Okay. <laughs> Just destroy the fortress and everything around it. One big explosion. Scorched earth. <laughs> okay. I say I have spoken. <laughs> uh Yeah, I mean nobody's nobody can stop him. <laughs> uh He's a very you know cautious Piero. Well his time. Yeah, the time difference, you know, time zones and all that. Yes. Oh, if Goddess has a wing, as well, I guess that means we've basically won. <laughs> yeah, she's mostly for moral support. <laughs> uh, don't praise her too much. She'll get a big head. We didn't need to tell them that. He's always observing. Oh, she's not gonna like that. Uh, this girl's a bit, gonna be a bit of a pain, isn't she? Not that I don't get where she's coming from, but... I don't, this isn't a very good counter argument from you, I'm just saying. It's 
Because we know Say is going to take care of things, you know, his, in his own way. <laughs> yeah. Say I didn't do that, just so you know. Uh, talking seems to be a waste of time. We should probably just leave. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Finally telling her how it is. You try to push the blame on other people. <laughs> what do you think you're going to do to Saya? <laughs> oh. oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, don't attack somebody that much stronger than you. Pretty sure it's okay if they're attacking you. Pretty objectively. Yeah, let's try it again. I'm sure it'll work better the second time. Uh, oof. <laughs> well, this just, just got awkward. <laughs> are you... Are you having much success there? <laughs> uh, I think you're paying too much attention to our gender. <laughs> uh, just she is stubborn. You really didn't. You do know the person crying. <laughs> crying does not make somebody in the right. Like that's not how anything works. It might be easy to have sympathize with that person, but that's about it. She is clearly in the wrong here. Like, she is basically throwing a child's temper tantrum right now. Like, the tone of voice and everything. Only level 23. It's weaker than the flies. <laughs> Good god, this girl. <laughs> She's so angry that she knows attacking is pointless because of what's happened before. It's, I can only imagine the frustration. <laughs> uh, we should just leave. Probably should have left five minutes ago, honestly. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ. It's been a while since I've seen that much anger come off of a character. Like, such blatant rage. <laughs> like, just... <laughs> yeah. Kind of the opposite of you in a lot of ways. We could all use a break, but I guess there's no need for it. I see. Bug repellent, perhaps? Kind of world building. Well, what's plan B? Oh, is she hot? Let's let's do so. I look forward to meeting her. I'm sure she's nice. Oh. Excellent. Midas. Midas touch. Mitis is how she pronounced it. But yeah, she's quite lovely. Kind of elfish. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's kind of necessary. We're dealing with a lot of enemies at once. Okay, I want to see some of that. All right. 
And then, like, airplanes come out of it and start shooting. Oh, wow. Nice. That could come in handy. That's not bad. A lot better than I could ever do. <laughs> I would ever miss. Don't be silly. I will let you teach me. Respectful as always. Oh, what are we talking here? I want to know what she was talking about there. He can learn anything he needs to learn. Except, you know, politeness. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, just like that. I bet. <laughs> you mean like that? <laughs> well, good job, Saya. She does look more goddess-like than her actual goddess does. That's what he does. He's traumatized other people before you, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I mean, didn't we have somebody to train you? It's a real plan. Oh, hey. We need more training. He's not with us right now. He's over somewhere else. <laughs> oh, yeah, that issue. Yeah, that was a problem, wasn't it? <laughs> that sounds terrifying. <laughs> That's a hilarious interpretation. I can't unhear it now. I missed her outfit. I'm sure he can handle himself. He'll be fine. That would be something, wouldn't it? Yeah, could just do that. Yeah, he's got a new thing he can do. Oh, <laughs> phrasing though. Yeah, that's all. It's nothing too special. <laughs> You're pretty dedicated to that, aren't you? Yeah, she could become a sword. <laughs> uh, something more important than eating? Don't be silly. Yeah, she knows best. I might be a bit careful here. I'm already a little bit scared. Ugh. Oh, that'd be so cool to have on Halloween. Oh, that face. Uh, then she's going to be behind her. Dawa! Okay. I say a who? I never heard of him. 
It's my life to not be taken from me. <laughs> That's an Anahami. <laughs> uh, she is panicking. <laughs> Back on the happy sunlit forest. Well, hurry. She will kill you? Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh! Uh, I knew she was there and it still scared me. That, how sad is that? Uh. She's not stupid. And I have no idea what kind of sound I made there, but it was weird. Uh. Uh. Oh man. How is this gonna go? Just so you know, he has experience this episode beating up women, so... Yeah, you were so pretty before. Oh. Okay, yeah. Head pads will make it better. He knows he knows enough to know that. <laughs> uh <laughs> Okay, I guess we got it figured out. Yeah, things change when he actually shows up and gives the head pats. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Why is that okay? <laughs> uh, that's all it takes. She always knows. Nothing new there. Well, that's been dealt with. You look a bit suspicious. A, a little more than a little bit suspicious. But also very sexy, so I'm sure I'm sure it's nothing. I'm sure she's trustworthy. Well, that was a good episode. <laughs> Even though it scared me a couple times because I'm very weak to jump scares. But still good. <laughs> uh... You know, when it switches backgrounds while she's still on screen, it really makes it feel like a green screen effect. Uh, fate, please. All right, all right. Well, that was the seventh episode of Shincho Yusha. <clears throat> My voice starting to go on me, so I'm gonna have to keep this brief. But basically, the conflict this time is a bunch of a bunch of flies attacking. They came over to the hero, said, "Hero, help us. Flies are a problem." So, so he goes over there, and there's a lot of those flies too. And they actually, we do see them kill a decent amount of people. And we eventually meet, like, the captain that's, like, in charge of these people. 
And she is a bit of a pain. Like, she cares about the lives of her men, clearly, which is admirable, I suppose. But that's really about it as far as good qualities of hers. You know, her name is uh, Rosalie. Rose Guard Imperial Knights, yeah. So, and pretty much right after, pretty early on since we saw this character, she demonstrates a lot of impatience. The one guy with the eye patch, you know, very cliche looking guy that's probably has a lot more experience than she does in combat, trying to tell her as much, like, no, like, we're tired, we don't really have a plan, let's, let's go to the meeting room, you know, maybe we could figure something out. Instead of just rushing in, flailing our swords around and getting more people killed, you know, maybe that's a better thing to do, you know. So, at least she listens at that point. And we have, like, a full-on meeting. Which Saya comes in on, you know. However, I don't think the meeting was super productive. Well, a lot of it was just Saya saying, you know, there could be an enemy right here in disguise. There could be explosives, like, under this table. Somebody is definitely listening in on listening in on, in on this. Like, he did say, like, I want to go back to the listening part. Because I'm pretty sure he was more confident in that one than the other ones. Okay, well, okay. He said almost certain that someone is secretly listening. Fair enough, I guess. But still. There is nobody there. But it made too much sense, though. Because as soon as he said that, it clicked in my head, fly, like, fly on the wall, like that expression. We're dealing with flies. It made so much sense that I was like, actually kind of sure they'd find something, but they didn't, you know. <laughs> guess you had to keep the gag going. But he was really getting on her bad side there. And then this, little, this line from her really says it all. You know, she says, we're not getting any fighting done. And then we don't really even need the strategy meeting. Not true. The hero and I will stand at the fore and charge into the fly's lair. Seriously. How could anyone think this is a good strategy? This is like a newbie RPG player's... Strategy. Let's just run into the fortress and kill whatever comes closest to us. Like it's not. Just, no. Like what do you even say to somebody that stupid? I don't. I don't even know. But Saya, who is like psst, the cautious hero, he would never go for that. Like that's not how he rolls. So as soon as she said that, I knew we weren't really going to come to any kind of agreement here in this room. But he agrees in one regard: the fact that we're done with the meeting. You know. But. She took it a little bit too positively initially, but that's, you know, because she didn't quite get what he meant. So, once he said he was leaving, everyone was just kind of like, yeah, okay, this is this is how it always goes. We can never have a normal adventure. <laughs> Say always has to be this way. But, because she doesn't, because, you know, Rosalia doesn't want him to leave, of course, because she needs the power that he would leverage, because she knows he's a hero, knows how strong he is, personality quirks aside would be invaluable to the fight. But she, so she can't have him leave. And now that we had pretty big back and forth here. So to kind of to kind of summarize this argument, basically she's like you're here, you got to help me fight. You can't just leave. You know, you have the power to fight. If you don't help me fight, you're a coward. That's kind of what she's trying to say there. Where he's like, "No, that's no, I, I need to prepare. I need to get stronger. I, I don't have the tools to, to fight like this. Uh, I'll be back in a few days, you know, which won't be as long for you because of the time difference. And then we can work on it then, you know. But she did not really accept that. And then things really heated up when he commented on seeing the people die, which was a touchy su su subject for her because she kind of refuses to take responsibility for the death of her men, it seems like. Trying to push it on to Saya, like the first chance she got. Not a very admirable quality, for sure. And Saya, you know, he's like... <clears throat> he's not going to rush in there like that. You know, if he did, maybe he could save at least some of them. Probably could. But what would that really accomplish in the grand scheme of things? And he's not the one that ordered them to attack in the first place, so... It really is not okay to push this on to Seiya. But she did anyway. So we pretty much had this back and forth for what seemed like a while. Even starting to really kind of criticize the goddess a little bit. 
basically saying she doesn't have the right to comment on such things because of how above all of it she is. But when Seiya actually straight up said that, you know, you're not the one that killed killed them, you are. You know, you're like a strategy, you just sent those people in there to die, basically. And she just wants to repeat that, really, you know, by basically saying, screw this mean strategy meeting, let's go get more people killed, basically what she's doing. And Seiya calls her out and all that. And... This is very true on the, on the internet as well. When you call somebody out on how wrong they are about something, and they, it's they're objectively wrong. Like anyone with common sense could see that they're in the wrong. They have no argument. They will just levy insults at you. If you spend any degree of time on the on the internet, you know, especially Twitter, you will see a lot of that. So, usually, whoever resorts to insults first is the loser of an argument, in my view. And I just got to see some of that kind of here, and you know. On the internet, you can't actually hit people, but in real life, you can. So that's what, uh, what she opted to do here. And it did not work, though, because, you know, she's like level 23. Probably doesn't have a huge amount of combat experience. So he just blocks and counters attack, and like it's, like it's no big deal. And it was super effective. The goddess took issue with that, though. But, you know... Say I wasn't the right here, so regardless of what the goddess says. You know, just she just kept going at it over and over again, expecting different results. And it just <laughs> by the end of it, man, she had these big chubby cheeks, you know. She was crying, she just growling. It just she was so visibly upset, it was comical. You know. A weird mix of feeling a little bit bad for her and finding it amusing and Find it to be her fault, you know? A nice mix of emotions throughout that scene. If you know, from me. But yeah, just... Eventually... She's just so stubborn, though. It takes so long to get anything through her head. We did meet another goddess. Uh, with a bow. She seems nice. Until she's... Until she didn't. But basically, yeah. We need to be able to shoot these things with arrows, because guns were an option. And she's the one to teach us, and she does, which is cool. We had the other problem of the other goddess who was in love with Seiya that feels, you know, betrayed, very upset. We had a lot of horror stuff with that. Very scary stuff. But eventually Seiya just gave her the head pats and it all worked out. You know, Arya knew as much. Just, just, that was some terrifying stuff. But yeah, just, we had a very weird shot of the goddess at the end there. Like, the other goddess, the, the elf archer goddess. Like, she was just standing back there, eating the apple, which was a little bit suspicious already. Just, just it came across that way. And then we started licking it, and just, we had a bit of a zoom in with kind of a purplish outline. At that point, it made it very clear that something evil-ish is going on with this character. I don't know what that could be. Like, goddesses are all supposed to be kind of on the same page, for the most part, right? So, I don't know. I'm not really sure what the deal with that is. But that did seem suspicious, blatantly, near the end. So, we will see. We will see. So, yeah, good episode, definitely. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.